Atlanta and welcome to this week's episode of Atlanta Delivers. This is Future Atlanta here because I filmed a video in Woking and then all the apps went down and then I continued filming in Worthing the next day during the heat wave. But the video was too long so the Woking one is separate and then this is a separate video. So I'm delivering in my hometown Worthing on Just Eat Uber Eats and Deliveroo and Be Livery if there is any orders. And this is during the heat wave so a lot there's not many drivers out and a lot of orders so this is a good video please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe okay so what i've decided is i've just got myself a bit of fuel because i had hardly any left and now i have a uber eats order for starbucks broad water and i'm gonna get myself a drink from kfc which is just opposite and where i'll be parking so that's my plan of action and i'm just pulling up to starbucks I have arrived at Starbucks and the order is for a caramel frappuccino blended and a ham and cheese toasty. Just got myself a large Pepsi Max with ice and the Starbucks has turned into a double order. So we're just gonna wander, put my drink in the car and then go get the double order. One order was ready and the other one hadn't been started so I decided to just take the one order and I said I'll get rid of the other one and this one is just a small little order to start with it's going 1 minute 0.5 miles which will be the minimum pay um, of around £3 or £3.20 and we're nearly there complete and that was for £3.30 now I'll just drive back to where I was and wait for the next order I have something I'm selling on Facebook which I need to drop off to someone today uh, I'm gonna get it done now before the lunch rush it's currently half 11 so then I will be back and ready for quarter to 12 so I'm gonna drive to Durrington and then once I've dropped this off I will turn the apps back on and we might get an order that way I've arrived where I'm dropping off the items, but I've messaged and he said he'll be back in five minutes uh, as he just popped out. So I'm gonna sit in my car and drink some Pepsi Max. <laughs> 11.47 and that is all dropped off. 50 pounds made for me, happy days. Um, and now delivery just popped up with one, a new one for BP uh, M&S in Finden, but it's like 10 minutes away and you don't get paid for that drive. So I didn't accept that. Um, all the apps are on and we're waiting. My Just Eat shift finishes at half 12 in 40 minutes. And then I think the next one is at 1.30. So we'll have a little gap, but hopefully it should be busy enough on delivery and Uber Eats. I have accepted an order on Uber Eats for Costa Coffee um, for water, which I'm probably around five minutes away from. I'm gonna leave Just Eat running um, to see if I get anything better. My maps are still the same as yesterday though, where on Uber Eats, like it's super like zoomed out, so you can't see where you're going on the maps and there's no button to direct you to Google Maps. So I'm having to, well obviously where, I know where I'm going now, but for like the customer's address, I'm having to type it in rather than just pressing the normal button. Switching it up, I have a Just Eat order instead for Subway Durrington for I think £6.82. We've got a little drive there, seven minutes, two miles. And then to the customer is probably going to be around the same. Hopefully it'll be ready when we get there. and Connor was working he's a big fan of my videos so big shout out to him and now I have eight minutes 2.5 miles to get to the customer and this is going like towering towards Worthing Townway um, and I just realized that it is a Sunday so if I do get an order in town I should actually be able to park which will be okay So 
that order is dropped off and we have another Just Eat order straight in for Subway Chapel Road going into to 3.1 miles for £5.93 and we are currently 8 minutes 2 miles away. under a 10 minute wait but not too bad and now the customer is seven minutes 1.5 miles away um that looked pretty good they had like a bag of like the subs like the sandwiches and then a bag just full of like cookies i was well it was a box of like 12 cookies um they look pretty good <laughs> Fair play to this delivery driver that's just cycled past me. She's cycling on a bike, she's got a massive box on the back and she's also got her kid on the back, like sitting behind her in this heat. It's, how hot is it? I think it's like 27 degrees. So it's very warm, fair play, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Order complete is 12.36, Uber is on a 1.2 boost now, I think that must have changed at 12 o'clock but I haven't had any orders yet and um, my just seat shift has ended and I don't have another one until 1.45. We'll head back to Cricketers Parade, I could do with the toilet and get another Pepsi Max and hopefully have an order. We have a delivery order just after I ended that clip for Co-op Test Road for £4.48 which is in Lansing and I'm pretty sure the drop off was in Lansing as well. We're currently 5 minutes 1.8 miles away. Okay, a fairly big order, 12 items, 3 lots of sushi, 2 lots of Capri Suns, another Capri Suns, Ben and Jerry's, another Ben and Jerry's, two Luke's Aid, and another two Luke's Aid. <laughs> all collected and it fitted in my small delivery bags just two bags and now five minutes 1.4 miles to get to the customer Delivery is now showing as busy. Next order is in on delivery for Subway Broadwater for £4.73. Um, I'm just stuck in a little bit of traffic at the moment trying to get back, but it should take around five minutes to get there. days I have a drink been to the toilet and have the order and now have eight minutes 2.8 miles to get to the customer I think because like currently when I'm filming this we're in like the heat wave today is like 30 something degrees and then the next two days it's 40 degrees the hottest it's ever been in the UK um, I think a lot of people are staying in like there's hardly anyone kind of out and about or they're at the beach today they won't be the next couple of days because it's just too hot it's a red weather warning um, luckily I'm working at a KFC where we have aircon and I'm very glad that I am but a lot of the delivery drivers said they aren't going to work the next couple of days which is fair enough um, so for the delivery drivers who are working I'm sure it's going to be quite busy for them and if more people are staying in probably more people are going to order a takeaway so I don't know it could be chaos at KFC but I'm glad I'm not delivering <laughs> Oh, 
order is all dropped off and when I was dropping it off another one has come straight through on delivery for co-op test road for £3.96 which I am 2 minutes 0.4 miles away. We have arrived at co-op again and the order is 11 items um, two Doritos, three lots of potato salad, two sparkling waters, magnums, everyone wants ice cream, cheese and chive dip, sour cream and chive dip, and some milk. We have the order and the customer is four minutes, 1.2 miles away. I think it, either it's very busy or there's no drivers. I'm not 100% sure because Just Eat has just allowed me to start my shift early as well. Um, so it's definitely busy. I feel like already a lot of people are staying in and ordering ice cream. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if a lot of delivery drivers have stopped today because of the heat or it'll just be the next couple of days. I'm not too sure. Oh, they gave me a one pound tip, that's very kind. That order is complete and that was very kind to give a little tip as well as it really helps. And he was like, oh, I love your name so much. And I was like, ah, oh, that's really kind when someone makes a comment like that. Um, Deliverer is showing as busy. I've rejected a couple of orders that are picking up in Worthen Town as I'm a little bit far away at the moment. I've just accepted a order for co-op broad water for £4.4p. I'm currently 2.2 miles away but it's just straight along the A27 and then I'm there so I know it'll be ready as well so that'll be a nice easy one. The drop off's not very far. Arrived. The order is for 10 items, baguette, bread, more bread, uh, more bread, it's a lot of bread, four different bread types, some fabric conditioner, bananas, toothpaste, Fanta orange, Dr Pepper and spinach. Delivery bag is full and then I've also got a baguette that doesn't fit in that bag. Order collected and now we have 4 minutes 0.8 miles to get to the customer. I don't think it's busy I, but I haven't really seen any other delivery drivers out so I think a lot of them are either enjoying the heat at the beach or something or it's just too hot to work. Um, I mean if your aircon doesn't work in your car which a lot of people don't for some reason that is going to be way too hot way too hot. Order complete and she was like, oh it's very hot for you to be delivering out today. I was like, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty warm. <laughs> um, we now have, I don't know where I'm going, this way. We now have a delivery order for KFC Broadwater for £3.73 and I'm just a couple of minutes away. Delivery does seem to be very busy at the minute, it's still showing as busy um, and the orders are constantly coming through like when you finish one another one pops up straight away um, which is quite nice because you kind of get to pick and choose what you want to do so like the ones that are in town or McDonald's or that I just reject those ones and then do the ones that I want um, which is a good way to be. Uber is constantly coming through as well um, but my favourite is delivery. There's no Just Eat so which is strange. Just pulled up at KFC and it's turned into a double order for £6.12. Both of them aren't going too far. It's been 10 minutes so far and I'm still waiting. Here we go, both orders collected. Okay, we have the orders. It took about 15 minutes, it was quite slow. 
um, but the first order is going four minutes 0 0.8 miles away another driver just said it's really busy and I was like yeah I don't think well he wasn't even working um, because he had his daughter he had, but he could see like the shift and stuff and I think has been rejecting orders I'm like yeah I don't think there's any other drivers out um, even when then waiting 15 minutes I didn't see another driver so it's probably too hot for them I don't know on a scooter like a lot of them are scooter drivers um, does it get really hot and it might sound really stupid it might do and in a car if your aircon doesn't work you're a bit a bit screwed First order being dropped off, they apologise they don't have any sparkling water so I just need to tell the customer. First order is all dropped off and now I need to go back past KFC in the other way now uh, and that is 6 minutes 2.1 miles away. That order has dropped off. It's definitely, I think there's just no drivers out. Like it is warm, it's like 30 degrees. Um, there's no drivers out, so I'm really busy. It's like, I'm just doing delivery. Straight away, I've got another one again. And I'm up in Findham, which is like out of the way, and I probably wouldn't normally get an order here. So I've got an order for, I think it's four pound four from co-op. Take me a few minutes to drive there. This is really nice. The roads are dead, because obviously everyone's staying inside. There's loads of orders, no drivers out. Um, for the most part, I haven't had much waiting time. Can't go wrong, I'm having a good time. I'm gonna, I could probably film for England today because I'm having such a good time. Um, but I've done over 40 pounds in the last two hours, uh, which is pretty good. My miles haven't been that high. Uh, if you'd like to see another video in the heat wave, then hit the like button. I am working at KFC the next two days, but I'm thinking I'm gonna film the day after when it's like we've had the 40 degree heat um, and it's still gonna be really hot. So make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next Sunday at 10 a.m. with a new video. Bye. I continued working the rest of the day and I can confirm I did 20 pound as an average of every hour. I did nine hours and it was around 180 pounds or slightly above that. So that was a very good day.